Would you like to learn more about the Geotechnical module and download free tutorials and demo data files? If so, please sign up to my free Geotechnical module training by clicking on the link in the description of this video and enroll into the course. It's free and it will enable you to master all the features of the Geotechnical module. The Geotechnical module for 2018 has some great new features, not least the 3D fence diagram command, where from existing geotechnical profile views, you can create 3D fence diagrams as a great way of visualizing and sharing subsurface information. They work from any geotechnical profile view, so you can actually edit the actual geology profiles, change them to what you want them to be, update your fence diagrams, and they reflect it in your 3D model. There's no better way to visualize and understand what is going on with the subsurface. Combining this with the new export command, the geotechnical objects are quickly placed in their own drawing. Even with property sets, given the type of borehole and the geology of the individual AutoCAD objects. This drawing is then easy to import into third-party software or other Autodesk software like Infoworks, Navisworks or Revit. There's no better way of your construction team understanding and visualising the implications of the subsurface data. There's also a new geotechnical layout command. This gives you complete control over what layers your geotechnical data gets drawn on. From the very simplest of layering standards to the most complex, you can define the makeup of the geotechnical layer names. You can even, by using the terminology button, define what terms you want to use. This allows you ultimately to manage the geotechnical layers from the standard layer manager command where you change individual colors and even transparencies. Major updates have also been made to the Geotechnical Profile View commands, including the new Edit Geotechnical Profile View. With this, you can take any profile view and change its settings, from changing the style settings, changing the band sets, to adding new geotechnical surfaces. In fact, you can add any type of surface now to your profile view. Better still, you can also change the log strip styles. So once it's been drawn, you can change log strip styles or change which borehole log strips you want to be displayed on your profile view. The hatch manager sees the new hatch scale factor that allows you to quickly specify the right scale for your hatches so they look correct in your log template strips. It also manages materials, so now you can specify a material with a geology stratum type so that when your drawings are redrawn or rendered, they are drawn with the correct materials. Again, a great aid in sharing and collaborating with others where render materials are often needed to fully visualize the subsurface. Would you like to learn more about the Geotechnical module and download free tutorials and demo data files? If so, please sign up to my free Geotechnical module training by clicking on the link in the description of this video and enroll into the course. It's free and it will enable you to master all the features of the Geotechnical module.